Hi Aries, welcome to your weekly reading for August 13th through 19th. Uh, for those of you who are not aware, I do a weekly giveaway where I give away a free prize every week. I'm still doing that this week. I'm just not going to spend a ton of time talking about it because I did too much last week. I'm giving away the tarot deck I talked about on last week's video. So if you want to see that, check out last week's reading. Um, and go to Amethyst Angelite Facebook and Instagram to enter on Monday if you want to win the tarot deck. A uh, card for Wednesday, Thursday for Aries. A card for Friday, Saturday, and Sunday for Aries. And a card for love for Aries. A card for love for Aries. And there's the card for love for Aries. Okay, my friends. So we're going to jump right on in here and see what's coming up. We're coming off of the Lion's Gate energy and the Eclipse on Saturday. So... Energies might still be a little intense, so we'll see starting off the week with Queen of Cups, guys. Queen of Cups is coming up for a lot of people, a lot of the different signs in, in the readings. Um, and I am shuffling, you saw me shuffle. So Queen of Cups is going to be a water type um, energy. So it's going to be like a Pisces, a Cancer, a Scorpio um, and I know that with you guys, Aries, um, some of you may not like be super compatible with water signs, depending on uh, your 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 chart and what all other elements are there in your chart. Uh, but you know, so for some of you, this might come up feeling like a rival. For some of you, if you do have water in your chart, it might be a part of yourself that's coming up, or a certain. Um, characteristics or personality traits which would be beneficial for you or helping you to move forward but all in all i feel like something is coming up to keep you on your toes but with your best interest at heart or with your best interest at mind so in other words whoever this person is coming in um whether it's like somebody at work or somebody uh, a, a friend or an acquaintance uh it, it's not somebody who is coming in with a malicious intent because queen of cups is not like a belligerent person she's not like somebody who's insecure who's going to come in and start drama queen of cups wants what's good for everybody so maybe queen of cups may be feeling like you're you know stepping on their toes in some way or like they're wanting to come in and, and try to you know bring about like something more cohesive so that everybody's a little more successful there could be, uh, for some of you, some kind of like a reworking or like, a, you know, coming to a new agreement with someone. Uh, but it, it, I feel like it's being done in a friendly way. It's not being done like an in your face. I've got a problem with you. We've got beef sort of way. So um, for some of you, it could be Queen of Cups, somebody coming in and like stepping in as like a mentor for you or helping you to get ahead in some way. Um, again, Queen of Cups is not someone with a malicious intent. Your weekend, Aries, for... I'm um, not weekend. I'm jumping ahead of myself. Your midweek, Wednesday, Thursday, is Ten of Pentacles. So, hey, look. We said Queen of Cups was coming in, maybe wanting to, like, you know, keep you on your toes or move you forward or, you know, help you out in some way. I mean, you have Ten of Pentacles midweek. So, for some of you, this Queen of Cups could be somebody tied into your work life who's coming in and like helping you get a raise or wanting to promote you in some way it could be a friend in your personal life who's letting you know about a work opportunity or investment opportunity but there's definitely energy coming in here that's bringing financial abundance because queen of cups also stands for financial abundance and kind of like in charge she's somebody that like owns businesses or would be a higher up ranking person so she's probably in a position to help you and then midweek you've got 10 of pentacles so this is very positive this is like money flow money flow so for some of you areas maybe you were really blocked with the previous energy but all of the energy shifts that we've had fairly recently may have unblocked you and midweek you may begin to see signs that money's going to be trickling in your friday saturday and sunday for the weekend areas is the devil i'm going to tell you what i immediately think this means because the devil has a lot of different meanings in tarot but because of your other two cards I feel like this is more like the mental uh, way of thinking or insecurity entrapment that the negative ego does because you've got the Queen of Cups coming in wanting to help you. 
then you've got the Ten of Pentacles, so things are really great. So as you're processing that things are going better, the Devil card is coming up to tell us that that voice in your head is probably going to come up and tell yourself, this is too good to be true. It's going to get messed up. You're just going to mess it up, or it, it's not going to happen, or it's going to fall apart. And we start pushing it away, or we start getting anxiety, or we start getting worried that it's not going to work out. Um, for other ones of you, there may be some self-sabotage. You may be tempted to self-sabotage. Things are going better. Money's going better. You have this person who's maybe coming in as an ally. And then you may turn to old behaviors to self-sabotage yourself because there's a part of the negative ego that feels like things are going too well right now, guys. I don't know if I can deal with it. So you may be tempted to reach for some kind of you know, self-numbing behavior or partying or becoming flaky or doing things where you begin pushing away a good situation. Um, so be on the lookout for that. Again, guys, this is a general reading. It's not going to be 100% for every single Aries. So make sure that you're checking out your sun sign, uh, moon sign, star sign, rising sign, ascendant sign, all that good stuff. Check them out. Some weeks those will resonate more than others. And check out the choose your own readings because a lot of weeks those really resonate with a lot of people. I've already got a few that are already posted. Subscribe, hit the notification icon. And then in a couple of days when I post the next choose your own reading, you'll get notified of that. So your love card for the week ahead, Aries, is Three of Wands. Okay, so Three of Wands typically can have to do with, like, enterprise or business. Um, you know, so it could be that maybe somebody's coming into your life through your work situation. Or maybe you've been involved with somebody from a work situation. Uh, but... It could also be like a, a, a relationship that's founded mostly on physical things or like, you know, sex. It could be very passionate, but it might not necessarily be like a true love type situation. So this person may begin like looking like to what needs to be done in their life or they may start feeling like, oh goodness, like... um I've been having a lot of fun or I haven't been thinking seriously about my life. So you may feel in some ways that they're distant or that they're pulling away. I don't think it's that they don't like you anymore. I think the attraction is still there. But I feel like they're feeling like I've got to start looking at my money. I've got to start looking at my goals. I've got to look at what I'm doing with my life. And they may be getting more into the business aspect of the wand energy instead of the pleasure aspect of the wand energy. So for some of you, there may be a little bit of like what's going on with this person type situation. For those of you who are in a very committed relationship and you're happy and you know your spouse isn't going anywhere, your partner isn't going anywhere and you guys are past that, you know, you know, purely physical connection stage of a relationship, you may be preparing to start some kind of business or enterprise with your partner. You may be beginning to, you know, think about ways of expanding your income or your resources or like I said, starting a business or expanding on a business. For those of you who are single and who are looking for love, for some of you this is going to be again meeting someone through work or doing something for work or on your way to work or on a work break, you may be meeting a new person. Um, or for those of you who are single who are looking for love, this could be someone who's coming in and really awakening your passion, really awakening your passion. Um, and kind of like relighting that pilot light in you for s some of you who have had that gone out for some time. Now, um, for those of you who are having that kind of connection, I do feel this is like a karmic soulmate or like a soulmate who's um, coming to help you get to the next stage in your life. But I don't feel like this is your forever soulmate. So pay attention to that. Be aware of that. Be open to the experience. Um, but know and be willing that this is somebody that might not be your it person even though the connection is very intense they're just maybe coming in to prepare you for a much bigger bigger connection so it's kind of like they're taking you on a journey in love and in romance that's going to drop you off at the right person for you at like you know your person so consider this person like a tour guide um, or like a park ranger or something that's like helping you find your way. 
in the enchanted forest of love, I guess. I don't know. It's late and I'm rambling, saying crazy things. Again, guys, this is a general reading. It's not going to resonate for every single person. Like I said, check out the other readings. And if you want a private reading, um, guys, I have private readings starting as low as $2. For those of you who go on to Patreon and pledge $2 a month, I will answer one question for you every month. You get one question with me every month. Or I will do a, like, what the month ahead has in store for you reading every single month. For those of you that pitch $2 every month on my Patreon. And there's going to be weekly live readings on there. I'm going to go live. I'm going to be pulling cards. You can ask me questions directly. Um, I'm going to be doing uh, meditation videos. I'm going to be having tarot classes. So there's all kinds of things on there that you're going to be able to access if you... Uh, pledge the two dollars every month or other things that you can access depending on what you want to do but it's all explained there you can pick what you want to do but i mean two dollars guys is like less than a starbucks i know a lot of you love to go to starbucks and you're getting a reading and you're helping me keep the channel going it's a win-win so for those of you who can do that awesome i really appreciate it and if you would like a private reading a longer one there's also options on patreon for discount readings for monthly members or you can just go ahead and see the regular rates that are in the description um, in this video. So I'm excited for you, Aries. You guys have a lot of really big changes. Don't forget to believe in yourself. Don't let that devil negative ego come in and cause you to push things away or to doubt yourself. And make sure you go to Amethyst Angelite Facebook and Instagram if you want to win the tarot deck. If you want to enter there. And to get a free card each day. Till next week, friends.